very strange. <laughs> Good morning, muffins. It's Cherie. It's been a really long time since I have filmed anything. Apologies. Let's have some coffee together. I gotta say that since I've been pregnant, I've been using real sugar in my coffee, and I don't know how I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I keep saying it every morning. I'm like, enjoy this cup, enjoy this cup, because in August, it's right back to the dietness, y'all. The dietness. So, I'm sorry it's been so long since I filmed a video. Um, life has just been happening this month. Uh, we've had a lot going on, and I've been traveling a lot, and um, had people in town, and all sorts of stuff like that, so it's just been super busy. And I kept saying, I need to make an update video, I need to make an update video. Uh, but I wanted to wait till after my baby shower, so I had something, ex you know, exciting to talk about. <laughs> well, exciting to me. I don't know if that's exciting to you. Um, but yeah, so I had my baby shower this last weekend, and then the two weekends before that, I was traveling to Alabama. Um, we had decoration, which is something they do in Alabama, where you decorate, are you, like, pretty up, um... The gravestones of your family members and then the next weekend I went to my mom's house so that we could do some shower prep uh, we made 70 <laughs> custom cookies uh, I learned how to do the what is that called it's not sponge sugar but it's like the, the fancy cookies with like the, the icing that gets hard and then you can decorate it. anyway we were cookied out at the end of that then my mom's house caught on fire um, so she's been having to deal with that <laughs> and then my shower so we have been crazy and all of that with some construction and uh, house stuff mixed in. Don't worry, my mom's house is fine. It was just a kitchen fire, so she's probably going to get a new kitchen. Um, don't leave hot oil on a surface unattended, kids, because things will uh, explode. So this last, week, last, this last week was just like the best week. <laughs> um, Celia flew all the way down here from Washington uh, to be with me for my shower, and she came a couple days early so her and I could hang out. Uh, I had originally decided that I might try and vlog a little bit, but we were just so busy, and honestly, it's a lot harder for me <laughs> to vlog when I'm pregnant because I'm tired <laughs> and I get worn out really easily. Um, and also, they passed a law starting June 1st here in Georgia that if they see you, holding or touching or operating your cellular device in your car at all that includes filming videos um then you get a 500 hundred dollar ticket and uh we need all our dollars because we got a baby coming gotta pay for college but celia and i had a blast we just shopped and thrifted and ate yummy food and hung out and i wish she lived here <laughs> like i want every day to be like like this week uh, and then Friday night, my family all came in, so Celia got to meet my entire family. Um, she's met my mom before, but she got to meet my entire family, my brother, his girlfriend, my stepdad, uh, my, my extended family, all of my friends that are from Georgia that she's never met before. Um, so she got to get the full Cherie experience. Um, hopefully, hopefully she's not mentally scarred. But uh, we rented out a, what was it? Mm -hmm. A bed and breakfast for my shower, so the night before the shower, uh, me, Celia, my mom, my brother and his girlfriend rented the rooms, and then we just hung out. We took her to Chick-fil-A. Uh, they don't. They only have one Chick-fil-A that they just got this year, I believe, in Seattle, so <laughs> she's getting all that Southern charm. And yeah, so we just, um, we got our nails done and, you know, relaxed. Uh, Celia was amazing. I mean, she is amazing, like, who knew, I mean, there's no question, that was never in question, but she just, she jumped right in. She was not shy with my family. Everybody loved her. She was super helpful, very considerate and concerned about my giant pregnantness. <laughs> um, she's just amazing, y'all. I, I cannot say enough good things about Celia, and I just love her to pieces, and it kills me that she's across the United States. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I experienced my first like, I, I guess, severe pregnancy symptom while she was here. Her and I were, were running around a lot. We, we did a lot of walking, a lot of shopping, and my feet swole. That's never happened before, but they looked like, they looked like little, little tree trunks. Like, I didn't even have an ankle left. Um, <laughs> so they put me on bed rest, my parent, my mom and Celia, on Friday night and made me put my feet up so that I'd be ready for the shower on Saturday. Um, and then Saturday morning, got my hair done. We had a delicious breakfast. The lady who owns the inn, um, is like trained in Paris as a chef. So like she made this delicious breakfast. Um, I bought some custom donuts for me and Celia. I got unicorns for her and horror movie themed for me. Uh, well, she likes horror movies too, but like our genres combined and, uh, they were really cute. I'll insert some pictures.
The shower was just, it was perfect. It went off without a hitch. I mean, little, little bumps there, here and there. Everybody came. Um, the food was delicious. People were beyond generous in showering us with gifts for this baby boy. Um, I got to see all of my family and friends, and it was just a beautiful day. The weather was perfect. The venue was pretty. It was just a beautiful day. <laughs> and, um, and I was actually kind of worried about it because we've actually been flooding here in Georgia, and I was like, it's probably going to rain. It's going to rain. We're not going to be able to sit on the porch. Like, it's going to be ugly weather, and it was sunny and gorgeous. Um, I'll insert some pictures from the shower now. Oh yeah, let me, let me zoom in. Actually, that's a really good picture. <laughs> you look very beautiful. Very Grecian. I love it. Me and Craig. Me and Craig, there you go. So cute. Well, I'm just taking video before we're you. Yeah. yeah. She's got 20 in there. Isn't that cute? And for the moms. <laughs> Not me. Of course. See, this is where me and Shree ate when we came. Right. Oh yeah. Well, just uh. So I figured you would know what the kids like. It's like possible. Yeah. Oh gosh, oh, I almost slipped. They're poppables. They don't taste like berries to me, but they taste fine. What do they taste like? I'm the only one that ate one. Y'all are. Y'all, <laughs> <laughs> y'all are trying to trick me. What do they taste like? What do they taste like? What in the world? What's going on? Something fishy's going on. Something fishy's going on here. There's something fishy. Let me go check the bag. Something fishy about this. Something fishy about this. Ooh, they kind of stink. They do have a very, um... Oh, they do have a very, um... They have an extensive smell. Smell from here. When you smelled that, I thought that was it. You were going to be able to put it in your mouth. They're not that bad. They smell really bad, though. Oh, it's because they're cuttlefish flavored. <laughs> Dang it. They smell like fish fingers. Oh my gosh. The aftertaste fish isn't chips. that great though. Cuttlefish. They're fish and chips. Again, I had planned to maybe vlog some of my shower, but it was super busy, and I just, I didn't even think I had my phone with me. I just decided to enjoy the day and experience it instead of trying to be behind my phone the whole time. Um, but it was amazing. So, uh, Celia went home on Monday, <laughs> uh, and uh, since then I've just been sort of trying to get my house back in order, because I had five straight days of me being too busy to even like do a dish, um, which means my husband was left here to his own devices. So yeah, pregnancy has been going well. Um, I've definitely got a bump. It's bumping. Um, it's real big. <laughs> I feel like a house. Um, but up until this weekend, I had not experienced anything, you know, so I've been trying to keep my feet up a little bit. You know, I do some activity and then put my feet up so that I don't swell. Um, doctor says baby's heartbeat is good. Um, we, ha we don't have another ultrasound for another six weeks, but I did get one a couple weeks ago and I'll insert that picture right now. I didn't ask for a 3D photo, they just did it. 
And I actually didn't plan to get one because I kind of wanted to be surprised by what his face looked like. And I know I still will be. Like, that's that's not like an exact picture of his face. But it's real detailed. And he's adorable and delicious. And ever since I've seen his little face, I just can't stop staring at it. <laughs> um, but she popped it into 3D and I was like, <gasps> and then I was like, well, I've seen it. So let's just get the pictures. Um, but he's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and I know every mom thinks their kid is gorgeous, but like he's so gorgeous. I just want to pinch his little face. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I am 30. I'll be 31 weeks on Tuesday. So um, we're we're in that third trimester, y'all. We're in we're in the push. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I'm ex I, we're just ecstatic. <laughs> every time I look at a little baby something or a little baby outfit, I'm just like trying to picture myself as a mom and picture him in the outfit and me holding him and doing mom things and um i'm just so excited i'm so happy so next week <laughs> we have a family reunion in west virginia so my husband and i will be driving i think it's almost 10 hours um but we're gonna have to stop my doctor said that i'm cleared health wise to go but i have to stop every hour and a half and walk for five minutes and keep hydrated and all of that um, we're not going to drive the full 10 hours all at once. We're going to do it in half seas. We're going to stop at a hotel halfway through. Um, but that will be my last trip, she said, because you're not supposed to travel after 32 weeks. And I'm very close to 32 weeks. So I'm going to pop up there for a little family reunion, meet some fam that I've never met before, and then uh, back home to hopefully rest until this baby comes. <sighs> Preparing your house for a new roommate is a lot of work. And it's even more work when it's a tiny little person that can't take care of themselves. Um, we are still in the construction phases of the basement. <sighs> Our poor um, contractor who we love to death, he's been so amazing. Uh, his wife, I think either she went in to leave her early or she had an emergency C-section. And um, so we were behind schedule by over a week uh, because of that, which is totally understandable. But I told him, I was like, don't stress about it. Like, we have a little bit of wiggle room because my shower is already over, so let's just get it done as fast as we can, but let's not panic. <laughs> so we're thinking we're going to be done with the construction portion this week, and then all my husband has to do is put in the floors, and then we can actually have a nursery. So I'm really excited to put the nursery together. We've been buying little things for him and little decoration things, and I hope that what I'm picturing in my brain comes out cute and not like clutter cluttery and scary like the rest of my house. Um, I'm not a good interior designer like I like things and I like to look at them but I don't know how to place them in ways that look cohesive <laughs> so it's just like I like blue let's paint the kitchen blue I like old stuff let's put that up there you know so hopefully his his room's adorable I'm sure it will be I haven't I've been having a lot of um <sighs> healthy fantasies <laughs> where I'm like picturing myself going to the gym and like eating really healthy food and um, being back in the community because I feel like I'm totally not in it and um, I miss it and I miss you guys and I miss all of the lady folks and a lot of, I mean, a lot of things have changed since I got pregnant and um, you know, I'm excited to get back into it in a couple months. Uh, it's just a lot of stuff, y'all. <laughs> and I kept telling myself, I'm like, we're not gonna gain a lot of weight with this pregnancy. And girl, that went out the window like a month ago. I was like, I'm only gonna be pregnant once. I mean, what I want, I get it, get it, get it. So, we're gonna have some work to do at the end of August, work to do. I also wanna take a second to thank a beautiful subscriber who was kind enough to send me a big box of treasure uh, to my PO box, Natasha. Um, she sent this giant box of stuff, y'all. Like, look upon it. Ugh, ooh. <laughs> like, there's so much stuff in here. Um, super cute little outfits with like Mickey Mouse and um, there's some there's some books and like bath stuff and little cute socks I mean she just she, thank you so much Natasha like when I saw this box because you know they give you the little slip that says it won't fit in there I was like and then when I saw the box I was like oh my god <laughs> like it's so much stuff I'm so excited um, I mean it's so cute look at these they're little silicone bowls that you can have, that come with lids and you can travel with them or bake in them. So cute. So thank you so much for sending that. Um, me and the baby and the husband really appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, I have a PO box down below if you guys are interested in that. Um, 
Also, I'm a little weird about it. I've had very many people ask about my registry and I don't, uh, <laughs> I might put it down below. I don't know. I feel weird about it because I don't want anyone to feel like it's an obligation or feel like I'm asking you for things, but I don't want you to, I, I just, but people have, I don't know. It makes me feel real weird, but I'm going to put it down below maybe. There's a there's a 50% chance it'll be down there. So so go look down there because there might be my registry linked. Um, and if you want to send something, that would be amazing. And if you can't, that's your kind words are enough. Um, yeah, this is awkward. I don't know. It makes me feel weird. <laughs> Even getting presents at my shower feels weird. Like I never feel like I deserve to be given anything. So like at my shower, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Why did you want to give me this? You know, like, I don't know. I don't know why that is. Does anyone know that's probably some psychological problem that I have? One of the many. <laughs> so that's pretty much it as far as updates go. Um, I'll probably have another update in a couple weeks. I swear I'm going to film those videos I said I was going to do about the things that got me through the different trimesters. Um, I just I have to put on makeup. I don't know why I can totally talk to you guys while I'm having coffee with like nothing on my face, but I feel like I'm doing any other video. I gotta like be dolled up. That's again another psychological problem. <laughs> so I'm hoping I'll get that filmed sometime soon and then have it up maybe while we're out of town. But yeah, so I'm gonna go put these feet up, <laughs> finish my coffee, do some house cleaning and uh, relax. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for tuning in to all of my videos and for all of your amazing support and sweet words and just kind vibes. Um, they really mean the world to me and I, I'm so thankful for this channel and for you guys and for all the wonderful people that I've met through Weight Watchers and from YouTube. Uh, and this adventure that we're going on is, it's the biggest one of my life and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.